scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, now dealing with Dark Eyes 3 Part 4. Yes, it's the end of the road for this particular box set. So, has it been worth it? Well, without question, yes. Now, this Dark Eyes has felt weirdly smaller in impact than the last two. Not as dark as Dark Eyes 2, if that makes sense, but still well worth the trip. Now, Dark Eyes 4 should be with us by now. And I will be listening to that and providing a review of the whole thing very, very soon. But this podcast is about Dark Eyes 3. Have I enjoyed it? Yes. Has Alex McQueen been brilliant as the master? Without question. Have I missed Molly in this storyline? Now, the reason for Molly's absence from the storyline is twofold. First off, the actress was a bit busy. First off, the actress was a bit busy. But secondly... The character of Molly in this storyline particularly, she's more of a MacGuffin. She is part of the plot, really. She's not as important as she is in Dark Eyes 1 and 2. But that's not to say that she isn't, of course, intrinsic to the plot. If you've listened to it, you know this is true. But I have missed the whole tardy box nonsense. But as I said earlier, the whole story does feel just a tiny bit smaller. Perhaps it's the absence of the Daleks. But even characters like Narvin were sidelined towards the end. Now, the problem with Narvin is he's just as powerful as the Doctor. So you can't really have two people wandering around, otherwise it becomes Dr. Narvin or the Narvin show. It is nice to finally have, ish, an ending to the whole of the infinite storyline. So, is Dark Eyes 4 good? So, is Dark Eyes 3 good? Yes, it is. Is Dark Eyes 3 as good as Dark Eyes 1 and 2? It's a very different creature. It is as good as itself. You can't really compare them. It's like comparing seasons of Doctor Who on TV. They're very different creatures. Certain things will appeal to you in certain ways, and a few things will stay with you longer than you think. So I'm not going to say it's worse than the other two, because that's like comparing your favourite children. It's just not done, and it's just not right, because it doesn't work like that. These are great stories. McGann's Doctor is shining. He is no longer wearing his velvet coat. It's something that I have to be reminded of. So bring on Dark Eyes 4, because Livchenka is just brilliant, and I can't get enough of her. Every single companion that's been with McGann has been superb. And you know what? That might be McGann, it might be something else. But either way, I'll say farewell, let you hear the trailer for one last time, and decide for yourself. So until next time, when I'm probably talking about Blake 7 and then back to Doctor Who, be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions, Doctor Who, Dark Eyes 3. My name is Hope Gardner, Colony Row 351. We need help. The infinite warriors are closing in. You saved us before. Bring the lady. The lady with the dark eyes. Bring Molly O'Sullivan. You can save us all. Lord Jowda, human is here. You are strong arm. Sally Armstrong, you know my interest. The humans. Promotions are not part of this war. Maybe I speak to eminence. So when it wins this war, it will be a friend to Ramosa. Ah, Liv, the fellow you let in, the doctor. He's gone, Professor. Good. A deluded lunatic. What did he say? That my research was a danger to the future. <laughs> Sometimes the best way to fight a fire is to make sure it doesn't get started. I'm taking away your matches. Your mind opens, Doctor. We will take it completely. Sounds like one of your typical schemes. Oh, on the contrary. This is my master plan. Every eventuality has been considered. You shall all fall to the might of the infinite. Die! 
need to order your people back into the jungle. Hide. We stand and fight. Run, war blood, before I spill it. We love stories. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Available on RSS, iTunes, Stitcher, Audio Boom, and Tumblr. Doctor Who and its associated works are copyright of the BBC. No infringement is intended. You can contact the show, donate, buy merchandise, or find out more about my other projects by visiting the Tin Dog Podcast homepage and clicking on the links. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. Are you an artist, Monsieur Doctor? Well, because... What is your medium? Time. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Doctor Who. Dark Eyes 4. I've lost something. I've reason to believe it's close by. I, I wonder... And this might sound odd, but have you seen a large blue box recently? There are hundreds of ships. Thousands. Alert High Command. They're heading straight for us. You fool. You're too late. <laughs> It's hard to explain, but let's just say there was a glitch in the chronology of the universe. Last! You must have damaged the timelines more than I thought. The Doctor must be found! What's happening to your eyes? They're turning black. I am the destiny and salvation of the Dalek race. I will control all Dalek operations throughout all of time! Time controller? What do you control exactly? Stomach! Ah! Please, 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 please. No applause. I am just your humble master. Must. Stop. Time, Lord. I was always coming back. I've just had to do it a little sooner than I'd have liked, that's all. It's Molly. It's something to do with Molly. Doctor! Now we talk. Big finish. We love stories. Extra